All right, guys. Um, I thought I was done with the F16 setup, but I'm going to add one more thing, and that's voltage telemetry. Most of the time, I use one of these little sensors, okay? This is a voltage sensor, and what it does is it hooks up to your balance port, and it can actually read individual cell voltage, so it can tell you and give you a warning if you've got a really low cell compared to the other cell. So this is the way to go. Um, I have this uh, sensor um, slated for a different project, so I don't want to use it. And I'm at a sensor, so I'm going to try something I haven't done before, which is on these receivers that um, FreeSky sells, they actually have, yeah, let me see if I can get the focus on that. Okay, they actually have little connectors over here. And that connector, um, one of them, which is the second one next to the black one, um, is this one right here. And that is the AIN2 port, okay? I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that AIN means analog input two. So it's the second analog input, okay? And that analog input is where you can get voltage, okay? So what I did was I took that wire, made it a little bit longer, and hooked it up to my connector over here. And it's hooked up to the red wire of my ESC. So it'll tell me the total pack voltage, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and set it up. So I haven't set it up yet in my radio, but to do that, so let me just move this down, okay? What I did, so I can check it and make sure that it's right, is I have this little cell checker and I hooked it up to the balance port of the battery. Let me see if I can move this, okay? There it is, okay? So that tells me what the voltage is. What we need to do is now go into model, Scroll over, next page, to telemetry. Okay? On telemetry, if you see, if your telemetry, telemetry looks like this where there's nothing here, what you need to do is discover sensors. So, so discover sensors, which is over here, turn that on. And there, it's, it's all, um, all the telemetry that this has. So if I had plugged into the smart port, say a GPS or an airspeed sensor it would populate here when I discover sensors. Okay, so once you've discovered it, turn that off so it's not always looking for new sensors, okay? Now, we look down this list and get the one that's called, it's in this particular case, it's right up top, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't, and I want ADC2, okay? So the port on the receiver is AIN, which means, I believe it means analog in, 2, and the, the telemetry is ADC, which is analog to digital converter. So it takes the analog signal, which is the voltage, and makes it into a digital number, okay? So if you take a look at that, my actual voltage is 23.04, and my sensor is reading 16 volts, okay? So what that means is we have to calibrate it. So go into the sensor and hit edit. Go down to the bottom and look for ratio, which is right there. Okay, now I want to take ratio and I want to crank it up until I see the same thing. So if you look up top, the one is gray, it says 16.0102. I want to go ahead and crank that up until this actually, so, whoops, there it goes. Okay, I want to go ahead and crank that up until I see 23.04. 23.04. Twenty-two should be close. Looks like I'm there. Twenty-three point zero four, and looks like it's kind of moving a little bit, but that's it. Okay. So once we have that, our sensor is calibrated. Now we gotta do something with that uh, telemetry. Okay, so uh, before I, I set my countdown and my total time over here, why don't we just add one in this window over here? Okay, so what you need to do is you need to go to display, which is there, or you can hit display over here. Okay, so I'm gonna hit display. I'm gonna move down to that and change widget, okay? What do I want? I want a value. What value do I want? Whoops. Okay, what value do I want? Okay, I want the value of, so this is under source, 
telemetry ADC2. Okay, there it is. Now, if I go back to the beginning, boom, there it is. Okay, now you can do maximum or minimum. So right now this is real time and this just shows me what the voltage is. Okay, but if I come over here and I tap on it, okay, I can, if I want, let's go to configure widgets. Instead of the source being ADC2, I can hit and hold that down and do minimum or maximum. And what this means is it'll read that display and every time it goes to a minimum, it just displays the minimum number or the maximum. In this particular case, I just wanted to read what it is. I just want to glance down probably when I first start flying the plane, make sure the battery is not dead. Um, and at the end of the flight, I can glance down and see what it's at. Um, so for this thing, I just want the real-time value. But for example, a GPS sensor, I don't care about, you know, what the real-time value is. I care about maximum. So I would put the maximum there. So in this case, I'm not doing those options, but I just want to show you that. Okay. So now we have a display that tells me what the voltage is. Okay. I can add a couple of things. So the, the first thing I'm going to add is I'm going to add a button that I press. And when I press that button, it'll just announce to me what the, um, what the voltage is. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. So same thing, you go into model. Okay, let's page over, go over to special functions. Okay, here's a list of my special functions. The majority of these are just, um, you know, like what the announce, like for example. Metal rates, low rates. Okay, so now you can go to the bottom of the list, right? So it looks like eight's my last one, but you don't really have to. You can tap anywhere. Okay, so you tap anywhere and go add, and it'll just add it to the bottom of the list. So special function nine's not being used, it'll add it there. What's the action? I want the action to play a value, okay? I want to enable it so it happens, okay? Active, active condition, when do I want this to happen? I'm gonna want it to happen when I press a button. So the button I wanna press is this one down here. So if I hit it and hold it down, you notice it says SJ down, it's a down arrow. But when I release it, it goes up. So it's always gonna do that. So what you wanna do is you wanna hold that button that you wanna hit. So I'm gonna do the SJ button and then hit return while you're holding it. And now it'll be the down. Okay, so I don't want it to be global. I want the I want um, it just to do it for this particular model. Okay, so the value that I want. Okay, same thing. We go to telemetry, ADC two. Okay. All right, and I just want it to happen once. Okay, and that is it. So when I hit this button, twenty three point one. Volts. It'll tell me what the voltage is, which is what I want. Okay, let's add one more thing. So, so far we have a display that tells me what the real time value is. I have a button, which is the button in the back of the radio. 23 volts. I want to add a warning. So, let's say I'm flying around and I forget, you know, um, I want it to tell me when it gets to a certain level. Okay, so let's do that. Let's add a warning. Okay, so I'm going to go back to here. Okay. And I, you know, um, let's go ahead and take a look at what I built already. So special function, eight, okay, edit. This is the one that I just built, okay? So, twenty-three volts. Here it is. Sorry, I was on the wrong one. Edit. Okay, here we go. So now. What I want to do is I want to essentially do this exact same thing, okay? So I want to play value, and I want it to um, play the ADC2 value. Very, very simple. But instead of the active condition being a switch, I want it to warn me when it gets below a certain voltage. So what you need to do is program a logical switch. So instead of a physical switch, so SJ is a physical switch. It's the switch in the back of the radio. I'm going to do a logical switch to do essentially the same thing. So let's go ahead and program a logical switch. Okay, right next to it is logic switches. None are here, let's add one, okay? Let's name it. So let's go ahead and name this one Bat Warn. Okay, now what's the function? The function is going to be A is less than X, okay? And A, is going to be ADC2. So when ADC2 
when that value is less than a certain amount, I'm going to put 21.5 or 21 point something, okay? Then I want it to, to trigger this switch, okay? So A is less than X, source on A is going to be telemetry, okay? ADC2, okay? The value is going to be Twenty one point five volts. I'm going to try twenty one point five. Let's see if that works. Um, I've done it before. I think I did it closer to twenty one point like one or twenty one point zero. And I know that seems really low. You wouldn't fly a plane um, that has twenty one volts. But remember, when you're on throttle, um, there's voltage sag. So you got to account for that. Okay. So I'm going to try twenty one point five. And after flying it, if it's a little bit too early for that warning, I'll bring it down a bit. If it's a little bit too late, I'll bring it up a bit. Okay. Now, active condition, always on. I always wants it to be sensing that voltage. Okay. Now, the next one is delay before active. Okay. So, um, this is going to account for any weird spike. So, let's just say the voltage sags just for like a millisecond or like, you know, a quarter of a second or something. And it sags to below 21.5. Okay. Um, that's not a, a reading that I want. So what I want is I want it to be under 21.5 for a certain amount of time, like anywhere from three to five seconds. So I'm gonna try three seconds. So as long as the voltage is below um, 21.5 volts for three seconds, this switch will turn on, okay? So I'm set, and then I come over here at special functions, I build another one, okay? So anywhere in the menu, you just add, and I'll just add it to the end of the list. So now we're at 10, okay? action okay play value okay so what I wanted to do is when it gets below 21.5 I want it to start playing uh, or telling me what the voltage is so play value enable it um, active condition now instead of a switch like I before it was press a button I want it to be another kind of switch which is a logical switch okay and logical switch is bat worn it's the only one there so it's not giving me the option but there, you see it says bat worn, okay? So it's gonna be the bat worn switch, okay? The value, what do I want it to play? I want it to play just at, you know, the same value. So I'm gonna to go to uh, telemetry, ADC2. Okay, and repeat, okay? Um, figure maybe every five seconds. So every five seconds is gonna count and it's going to keep reading off the thing. So as long as the value, as the voltage is below 21.5 volts, it'll keep repeating it. Okay. So uh, every five seconds. All right. That's it. Okay. So now it's done. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm above 23 um, point or 21.5 volts. So let's go ahead and just for testing purposes, let's go ahead and change that value instead of 21.5, edit. 23 volts let's set it to 23 so if it gets below 23 volts for more than three seconds it will activate and you'll know it activates because it'll say it and also let's go let's let's do this so it's 23.02 right now okay so now let's go ahead and throttle active activate it There it goes, okay? So it waits three seconds once it gets under that point and then it activates, then it triggers, okay? So we know that it works, let's do it again just to be sure. So once it gets below 23.01, it'll activate, which is it is right now. One, there it goes. So you see it turn green there, okay? It set it, I don't know if you heard it because the throttle was on. But if it turned green, that means it activated and you and it did say what the voltage is. So everything is good. I'm going to go ahead and revert this back to 21.5 volts. So it's good for flying. Okay. All right. So we are good. Okay. So a couple of things that we did. I'll just summarize. Um, first thing you do is you hook up your receiver, the AIN2 port. Hook that up to the ESC red wire, 
Okay, so when you plug your battery in, it can read the battery voltage. Okay, no need to hook up a ground. I mean, it's common ground. There's grounds, you know, everywhere. So you don't need to do that. Okay, so once you've done that, once you've hooked it up and everything's there, you come into telemetry, go into telemetry and discover sensors. Look for the ADC2 um, value and you'll need to calibrate it. So hook up, you know, um, a cell checker and to your battery and make it the same, okay? Once you do that, then you can do whatever you want with that sensor. So in this case, what I did was I created a widget over here that shows value. And the value that I wanted was ADC2 and it tells me what the value is in real time. The next thing I did was I programmed a button, okay? And programming that button is essentially doing it in special functions. In special functions, you play track and the, the, um, the way you trigger it is by a button. 23. The other thing I did was I, I, I built, um, built a logical switch and the logical switch says when ADC2 gets below 21.5 volts, turn on that logic switch. Then I used that as a switch to turn on another special function and that special function uh, is the same thing. It uh, announces the voltage, but it only does it when that logical switch is hit. All right. So but that's it, guys. I mean, that's uh, it's relatively easy. This is not a hugely complex thing. Um, but it's a nice way, cheap, free way to add a voltage sensor using the voltage sensor that's built in to the TDR10 or I believe most access receivers as well. So the tandem receivers have it. The access do, um, does as well. I'm not sure about the ACCST ones. I don't have too many of those, but it's nice to have a, a voltage sensor built into it. All right. Um, so that's it, guys. Um, by the way, you can do the same thing with this. Okay. The additional thing is you can actually get a warning on low cell voltage, so individual cell voltage if you want. Um, that's the big difference. So it's a programming is a little bit different, but it's essentially the same thing. All right, guys, that's it for now. Hey, and um, to help me out, if you guys want to like and subscribe, that will definitely help. All right, guys, take care.